To create the dramatic eyes effect in Photoshop, we need to first of all get ourselves into the adjustments and you want to get yourself a black and white adjustment. You can then minimize this and to create the dramatic eyes effect, you want to get yourself onto your main image and get yourself a new layer in between the image and the adjustment. Once you've got yourself this new adjustment, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves the brush tool up to the brush settings and you want to set it to something like 400 pixels for the size, set it to zero for the hardness, set it on a black color and make sure it's 100% opacity. Now the reason why we've done this is because we can now simply left click and just paint this onto the image, giving it this dramatic effect onto the corners. Now at the moment, as you can see, it's only got the dark edges. There's nothing much exciting going on. So what we can do to fix this is we can go over to the effects and in here you want to set it to overlay. Now we also want to lower the opacity on this one to 88, just so it's not as harsh as 100%. So now that you've got yourself the first layer, you want to create yourself another one above this one and you want to do the same steps as before, but just purely focus on the edges. And the reason why we're doing it like this is because if you had one harsh layer, it just looks a little bit too much. So that's why we are taking it nice and steady with three different layers. So with this one, same as last time, go ahead and set this one to overlay and the effects. And we're going to set the opacity to something like 89%. Now you want to do this one final time. So get yourself the third layer and you want to just once again, really make those edges nice and dark. So we're just going to purely focus on the edges like so. With this one, same as last time, go back into the effects and set this one to overlay. Now, once you've done the effects, there is one more adjustment that you can get yourself to bend these colors and make the contrast pop even more. So if you go onto the top adjustment, you want to go ahead and go back into the adjustments and get yourself a curves. Now with the curves, if you've never used this before, it's really simple. You have yourself a line and with this line, you can bend it to play about with the contrast, the brightness, and you can also play about with the lighting and so much more. So what we need to do, we need to get ourselves one near the bottom down here. So all you gotta do is just left click on the line and this will create your point. Once you've got yourself the first point, you want to set this one to 62 for the input and then 51 for the output. We want to get ourselves one in the middle, which is going to allow us to once again, enhance the brightness and we're going to set this one to 123 for the input and then 134 for the output. And then finally, the very last one is going to be right near the top. And for this one, we're going to set this one to 188 for the input and then 199 for the output. You can then close this down. And as you can see, this has now created this really cool looking contrast effect. Now at the moment, you can see the edges are a little bit too harsh than what we'd prefer them to be. We can fix this simply by going to the opacity on the brush tool. We can set this to something like, let's say 50%. So it just makes the brush a lot more softer. We can go onto the first one that we created and we can get ourselves a mask layer on top of this one. With the mask layer, make sure you are selecting a black color just simply lighten these areas that you want them to be a lot more brighter. Same goes for this one. If you wanted to, we can just soften it up a little bit more so it's not as harsh. Now, the next thing to do is to go ahead and left click on the bottom one. You want to hold shift, left click on the top one, and you want to get yourself a group. We can double left click on here and call this effect. Now for the time being, we're going to hide this layer and we're just going to focus on the actual eye effect in the center. So to create the eye effect, all you gotta do is scroll down in the description down below 
And the one that I'm using is this effect right here. All you gotta do is left click, drag this into Photoshop, and we're just going to scale this down, but we also want to lower the opacity to 50%. So once again, scale this down, you want to try your best to align this with the eye. So I'm going to stick it right in the center, right about here. We can hold Alt if we want to, or Option key, and then drag the corners out, and this will scale it up from the center. You can double left click once you're happy with the changes. So the next step is to go back to the brush tool. You want to get yourself a mask layer on this one, and you want to move this layer underneath the effect. From here, make sure you are selecting your mask. You want to lower the opacity with the square bracket, Make sure you're selecting a black color and then just soften the edges up nicely. Now we're going to set this back to 100% for the opacity. And you just want to soften the edges, making sure that you only have the areas that you want to keep. Okay, so once you've done with the mask, you can go to the first tool. You want to set the opacity back to 100%. And we're going to go ahead and set this to a vivid light for the effect. Now, if the center bothers you, let's say you didn't want this to look like this, you can press B for the brush tool, go back onto your mask, and then you can just simply left click onto here and just soften it up to create this really cool looking glow effect. At the moment, we've got the effect, it looks really cool, but we can also continue on to make this look even better. So if you go over to the adjustments, you can get yourself a hue and saturation. And with the hue and saturation, you want to first of all, clip this onto the one below, so it only applies it to the actual eye. And from here, we can click on colorize. And as you can see, this will now let you to play about with the different colors just by moving the slider at the top. You can also increase the saturation if you want the colors to really pop and really stand out. So I'm going with something like 70 for the saturation. And for the example of this video and what I used for the sake of the thumbnail is 2A5, which is this really nice purple. Once you've done that, you can then minimize this. And the final thing that you can do is of course to blend both of these together so you have the eye in the middle with the effect and you also have the dramatic look. So all we have to do now is simply select ourselves the group, get yourself a mask on this group. We're going to go back to the brush tool and we're just going to increase the brush size to something like 150. Make sure you're selecting a black color and then once again, just reveal this from here. If you go outside of the box, don't worry about it. You can always correct this just by swapping over to a white color. And then of course, just blending it in nicely. And there we go. You are pretty much done. There is your dramatic eye effect in Photoshop.